I'm meteorologist Kyle Keel with a look at your first alert forecast. Certainly not feeling like November out there as we have temperatures into the 60s to near 70 degrees. Dew points also in the 60s, so very muggy out there. And we have mainly an overcast sky, but we do have the potential for more rain and storms here later this evening and overnight. And we do have a level one risk of severe weather, mainly for gusty wind potential, uh, mainly just south of the Quad Cities. We're talking from Kiwani Galva uh, over toward portions of Mercer County and areas to the south. That's where we could get a few gusty storms. Uh, again, a lot of the afternoon going to be dry. It's not until we get into the evening and overnight that we see that rain overspread the area. Uh, there's your potential for a few gusty storms here uh, south of I-80 and uh, south of the Quad Cities as well. So between about midnight and I would say 3 a.m. is when we have that really heavy rain and thunderstorm uh, severe potential. Again, very low level one risk of severe weather. Most of the rain moves out here early Tuesday morning. We're going to have strong southerly winds gusts 30 to 40 miles per hour. And then as that uh, cold front low pressure move through the area, could be talking about a few gusty storms here scattered about. I'll have to watch these. Maybe a couple strong storms of possibility that moves out of here as we head into the afternoon and we're all dry here by the evening, but the wind will continue to be a factor. I uh, will have uh, rainfall amounts anywhere from a quarter of an inch to the northwest to maybe two or three inches here farther off to the south and east. Here's a look at the next seven. We've got temperatures back in the 50s where they're supposed to be on Wednesday and Thursday before more rain moves in for the weekend.